and we're back again guys i don't know what i'm doing ah! yo yo seems like we're in deep losses let's check out the chart as you can see guys i entered my cells prematurely so i'm re-entering more cells now because i can see the cell setup is now ready okay so we're gonna make sure that we step away from the account for now and we'll come back later and see how everything played out 100k deposit let's go and we beg again guys it's a new day let's check out the account okay seems like the loss is coming back now the market seems to be respecting the setup and we beg again guys we're in profits as you can see i already closed two profits let's check out the analysis as you can see guys we are from a resistance and currently at a support zone below here so what we want is the market to complete the setup of which we want it to touch the uptrending support at the bottom below once we see a breakage of our support we do know that we now have a confirmation of a swing sell i'm planning to swing these cells as you can see i've already entered a few more trades and i'm already in profits so i usually use other factors that show me that i am actually confirming myself so as you can see guys that is my trend line that shows a high resistance zone of where the market actually retested and continuing going towards the downside so that's currently what i have and what i see in the market let's dive in deeper guys to see the market clearly as you can see guys this is one hour and i can still see my sell setup is still correct hopefully you guys have noticed that i'm actually trading us 30 here this is not nasdaq however i specialize in nasdaq and us 30 which is indices you have to know that when you're a trader you have to focus on one thing per time when you focus on indices make sure you focus and master indices and once you're done that's when you can move to currencies okay so this is what we currently have at the moment we're looking for a sell towards the downside for now let's step away from the markets we'll come back later and see how everything played out and we back again guys Woo! yes sir we are in deep profits as you can see guys the market respected our setup so i'm gonna make sure i close some few trades i'll come back later and see new setups yes sir we back again guys the journey continues closed all my usdt profits so now i'm entering new trades i am now trading nasdaq as you can see us 100 and do understand guys the reason i'm entering so many trades on this specific account is because i know it's a big account and it can survive drawbacks or retracements because it's a big account okay so when you're trading a big account guys you have to know that in most cases you know when to go hard when you have a high probability trade at the moment i'm having high probability trade hence i'm over risking like i am right now anyways let's step away from the market we'll come back later let's check the account yes sir we are in deep profits once more as you can see guys this is my analysis let me show you we're in a bullish trend and the market broke outside the bullish trend went above to make a new high and now we're expecting a retracement on our newly formed support which was a resistance hence i went for sales and the reason i went in hard is because i saw a high probability trade we are currently approaching take profit as you can see guys the market is dropping nicely i'm expecting the market to actually come below and retest at that point that's where i would want to close my entries okay so for now guys as you can see i hit tp let me step away we'll come back later we're back again guys still in profits closed most of my nasdaq entries left these few ones to check basically how far i can profit from this trade okay so let's step away from the market let's see what the market has for us let's check out the analysis seems like we are correct about our analysis guys it's a good thing that we actually scalped and swing some of the entries as you can see nasdaq is still dropping guys which still confirms our entries correct let's keep on holding okay guys we beg again <laughs> As you can see we entered new entries it's a new day closed all those entries yesterday backed all my profits right now we're seeing a buy in us 30 as you can see right here guys and let's go to nasdaq we finished milking all the sell movement so now we're waiting for a retracement back up in the bullish trend okay so let's step away from the markets okay guys let's check the account yes sir we are again back into profits as you can see after the market has reached the support we expected buy movements and that's exactly what we got 
bullish movement okay guys let's step away from the market we are back again guys yes sir we are in even more deep profits as you can see guys the market has respected the setup for us 30 let's check out nasdaq i believe it's the same thing for nasdaq too i actually had placed entries at the top so i'm waiting for the market to actually get back to the top before i can close them so let's step away from the market let's check the account guys seems like the market isn't making any movement anymore so i'm closing all my entries guys the reason is because i don't want the market to end up retracing and i had profits and i actually lose them so remember guys when you're in deep profits pay yourself always remember as a trader it's important for you guys to pay yourself so as you can see guys once i'm gonna close all these profits i'll make my first withdrawal because i've obviously doubled this account meaning from now on i'll start trading this account without emotions so i'm closing everything even losses guys as long as the overall profits are still more i'm closing everything guys slow and steady closing everything while i'm also checking and seeing whether the market will continue going up a bit but the aim is to actually close everything right now in front of you guys so let's check out the analysis seems like the market is not moving for both nasdaq and us 30 and that's my profit so far guys that's how much i closed and that's overall how much i made since i started this account i'm going to make my first withdrawal this was my first loss this is my second loss losses are part of forex guys losses are part of forex don't be afraid of them we back again guys let's check out the account ended up entering more trades and we are again in profits i saw that the market is still going towards the upside after i closed some of my trade so now that i've seen that the market has finally pushed towards the top i'm going to end up closing all my trades and secure my profits because i tried making a withdrawal and it didn't approve because i have trades running so i'm going to make sure that i close all my trades so that i can approve my withdrawal okay guys So right now, I want to slowly check whether the market is still going up while also closing my trades. As you can see, guys, if I'm still seeing that there's a possibility of the market still continuing back up, I'm going to swing other trades. But if the market doesn't allow me to swing, I'm going to end up scalping and closing all trades. But the purpose is to actually to try to maximize profits while also having minimum losses. Let me close everything so that I can make my withdrawal. Let's check out the history. That's what I made in today. Let's check out the whole time I started the account. As you can see, guys, it's been a beautiful winning streak, guys. Do understand we also have losing streak. Let's step away from the account. And we back again. Let's check out the account. Finally got my withdrawal processed and received. So the reason I actually got my withdrawal now is because I closed my running trades so far i managed to withdraw my initial deposit meaning that tomorrow i'm gonna start trading emotion free let's get it guys let's step away from the account good morning everyone we're back again guys let's check the account only trading nasdaq today as you can see guys after we closed our profits yesterday the market reversed hard so it's important for you guys to know when to close profits to protect yourself so this is what we have for now let's see what the market does and let's see how the market plays out we back again guys seems like we are starting to get into profits let's check out the analysis okay it seems like the market is still playing down there we do have our stop loss and tp but not on all entries we are applying a simple strategy of both scalping and swinging because we want to grow the account while also maximizing trades so that's what we have for now guys let's step away from the market we're back again guys let's check out the analysis seems like we are in profits but haven't yet reached our take profit at the time and moment there's nothing we can really do let's step away from the market we're back again guys let's check the account more profits more profits okay seems like it still needs more patience let's step away from the market guys come back later
and we're back again guys Woo! we are in deep profits guys let's check out the analysis okay seems like we still are a bit far from our take profit expecting the market to reach that first resistance before any further movements you have to understand guys patience plays a big role when you're a trader and a lot of beginner traders tend to forget that have your own rules and follow them okay so now let's step away from the markets we'll come back later and we're back again guys <laughs> looks like we're in losses let's check out the analysis as you can see right here guys we are currently in a pullback or a retracement of our bullish trade the market however hasn't reached our stop loss so we are still safe to hold our buys for now let's step away from the market we back again guys let's check the account okay we're in more loss now because as you can see guys i've entered a few more trades and i'm still entering more trades reason being that you see the market has actually tested our support level more than once you would say three to four times that is proven to be a strong support structure of which we know in support we look for buys so let's check out the market guys you can see we already starting to get into profits so let's step away from the market let's check the account guys any tp hits let me start there boom we are in profits guys hello motherfucker yes sir we're in profits again let's check as you see guys what did you learn from this what you learn from this is that guys if you see a support that means you have buying opportunities and if you are at a resistance you have selling opportunities guys always follow your rules okay so let's step away from the markets now and wait for tp hit okay guys we're back again Woo! looks like we're even more profits but still no take profit hit okay guys that means we can still hold our entries because we're waiting for take profit hit let's check the market one more time guys let's check the market one more time it is what it is man patience plays a big role let's step away from the market and we're back again guys you you and still no take profit hit all right guys me i'm closing guys i'm closing my trades because i don't want to end up losing all my profits when the market retests for the second time because you do remember guys the first time it went back to retest before it went back to profits again so now that the market is actually wasting time to hit my take profit target I'm gonna end up closing all my entries but i'm gonna close them slowly because i still want to see if the market will go back up okay so i'll slowly but surely keep on closing while also checking the market and seeing if we are basically still going up or we stagnant in who we are remember guys you must pay yourself once you kill a setup make sure you pay yourself i'm closing all my trades let's close everything guys already i made 53k profits and i also gave out the free signals so let's go back to the account guys still don't take profit hit but we killed so it is what it is guys let me close all profits let me close all profits because i want to make another withdrawal guys we have doubled the account again let's check out the whole history that's what we made today and this what we made since we started the account as you can see guys this way the account started as you remember we took some few losses made a first withdrawal now i want to make the second one back again guys as you can see we're in profits i entered more buying opportunities because while i was off screen i saw a beautiful buy setup so i entered more opportunities let's put this in a horizontal view so that you see properly actually started entering at the bottom there and waiting for the market to reach that overall resistance currently we're in a small bullish trend guys let me dive in deeper to show you properly as you can see right here guys we are now at the resistance of this small bullish trend and we know the market actually returns to the bottom and still continue going back up as you can see guys my bottom entry i actually have a stop loss above entry and my middle entries i have a stop loss where i put my stop loss above entry for the bottom entry okay guys and that's all we have for now guys as you can see these are running trades let's step away from the markets come back later let's check the account damn Oof, looks like we have a stop loss hit and a stop loss in profits let me pull horizontally looks like we have a strong support level here guys let me show you looks like we have a strong support zone so they basically 
the market went down to retest on its support zone before going back into buys. Let's check the account. Yo, looks like we still losses. Let me enter more trades. Reason being that guys, I'm still seeing that we had a support structure. So still allowing me to enter more trades. And remember guys, I've already withdrawn my initial deposit so I can risk with this account. Anyways, let's step away from the market. We back again guys. Woo, looks like we're in profits guys. Most of the entries have went into profits except the ones in the middle. Let me remove this. As you can see right here guys, the bottom entries are now in profits but the middle ones are just starting to be in profits right now guys. Let me show you something about Nasdaq. Nasdaq tends to repeat itself guys. You have to understand the nature of Nasdaq in order for you to trade it like how we do. Once the market reaches the resistance, it goes back down to the support, pushes back to the resistance, goes down to the support, so forth and so on. It repeats itself over and over again and currently I'm looking for a push towards the upside because we had a push towards the downside. Because once we've reached the support, the market always finds a way to reach the top again. As you can see guys, we're actually going to beautiful profits because now the market is actually pushing towards the upside, but still not where I want it to be. So let's hold. Let's check out the trades are going. Ooh, we are in profits guys, we are in profits, but some entries are still in losses, so we're still holding. Okay guys, this was just a random check, a step away. Let's check out the account guys. Yes sir, looks like we're in deep profits but only Nasdaq. Still waiting for US 30 guys. The only time I'll close my profits is only if we reach my take profit target that I have right there guys. I know that I'm waiting for the market to actually break that resistance. However, right now I'm going to scalp and swing. That's all I have for now guys. Let's monitor the trade guys. Looks like Nasdaq is killing. Do understand guys, the same way you can hold losses must be the same way you can hold profits, okay? So looks like there's nothing. Let's step away. Let's check the trades guys. Damn! <laughs> That's like it's flying guys. Yo, yo, yo. Still waiting for a TP hit guys. Currently there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna wait for the market, okay? Let's step away. and we back again guys yo 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 guys we are killing nasdaq guys we legit about to hit take profit now i don't want the market to influence me guys so let me step away from the market before i close trades we back again guys let's check the account i closed most of my entries because i told you guys i'll both scalp and swing and my withdrawal also came through i made this withdrawal this morning when i didn't have trades uh, it finally came through but now i'm actually waiting for the market to actually break above let's step away let's check the account guys Woo, we're in beautiful profits guys let me show you how much i made today that's how much i closed today as you remember guys those are my stop loss and actually had my tp in nasdaq guys so as you can see guys the market actually broke through now so i'm waiting for you to actually reach that resistance there before i can think about closing my entries Nasdaq has been beautiful since I've started trading it guys, but US data has been taking time. Let's check it out. Some trades are in profits, some are still in losses. I'm waiting for you to push a step away from the market. Check the account guys. Yes sir, finally all entries in profits. Let's check out Nasdaq. It looks like it broke above and it's now trying to retest and still continue pushing up. And US data is at a resistance. I might close them or I might give them a chance. Let's step away. And we back again guys and damn Nasdaq is flying guys look at that yo Nasdaq has been respecting setup guys let's check at US 30 still playing around and I haven't closed anything as of yet still where I was guys so for now I'm gonna let the market and see how far I can push come back later and see how everything played out and we're back again guys we're in deep profits let's check out the analysis looks like nasdaq is flying guys look at that wow as you know guys i'd like to usually scalp and swing so for right now i'm going to scalp some trades and leave some for swing so let me close some few trades because i have to grow the account and obviously pay myself so let's make sure i check these trades let's make sure i close my profits 
the aim is to actually go back to 100k before continuing with more trades so for now i have 98 let me close some few more trades and see how the market pushes let's see let's see guys and so far this is the account history made 350 profits so let's step away from the market we back guys entered more trades on us 30 because we are above the resistance which is now the support waiting to push back up so this is nasdaq is still consolidating let me close one of my entries to reach my 100k account as you can see guys i've actually made three withdrawals we'll show you guys as we continue growing the account step away from the market good morning guys we're back again and damn we are in deep profits man let's check out nasdaq looks like we finally reached our overall resistance guys wow look at that nasdaq has been nothing but wonderful for this past week now let's check out the uh, us data let's see what's happening looks like us data is still on the way to the top okay so now let me secure all my nasdaq entries because they have finally completed my setup only left now with us data entries so let me show you guys the withdrawals that i was talking about the ones that i wanted to show you this what i closed for today because it's a new day now let's go to the month so i'll show you guys the whole history okay and every time i click the month is because i want to show you guys where the account started so let's go back up and see what happened so i started the account on the 11th i've been pushing it took some few losses and made my first withdrawal which was 100k and made my second withdrawal that i forgot to show you which is 100k and the withdrawal that i remember to show you which is the last one so those are my three withdrawals guys anyways that's all for me let's check out the analysis one last time seems like the market is still playing around i still need to be patient i'm out and we back again guys Woo! looks like us that is finally pushing up let me put my analysis in a horizontal manner so that you see everything correctly as you can see right here guys we have a beautiful bullish setup let me show you what confirmed my bullish setup firstly i saw that we have a support structure here at the bottom let me put it correctly let me use a line chart guys because i want you guys to see how i'm going to cater for all touches in the correct manner let me make sure everything is straight now let me put my analysis into a line chart reason being that guys i actually want to cater for all touches in a proper manner so firstly i'm going to fix my trend line resistance of my trend of which is a bullish trend it went outside gave me a double top and broke towards the downside now we are back inside this bullish trend so that is our resistance there guys i'm waiting for the market to actually reach the top before i can say that we've completed our setup okay guys that's what we have currently so let's check out the the history this is what i made today this is what i made last week as you can see guys now let me show you the whole account history as you can see right guys this was my last withdrawal and this was my second withdrawal and then this was my first withdrawal guys i've been trading this account from the 11th of january as you can see guys i also do take losses however these are the losses in my winning streak do understand guys you also have losing streak don't try to be too perfect when you trade so let me close one last entry because you know i also scalp and swing and we're back again guys looks like usdt hasn't been moving let's switch it up a bit guys let's include a bit of currencies however volatile currency pairs guys like gold okay so do understand guys i also trade indices and volatile currency pairs. i like to trade things that are very fast okay let me show you what we have here our setup for gold we are currently at a support structure hence i'm looking for buys so overall trend is a bearish trend okay however for now i'm in a bullish small trend let me show you what confirmed this trend we were at our resistance and the market broke towards the downside back to resistance back to our support back to resistance back to the support so we know now we need to go back to the resistance guys so that's why i want to enter this buys that i'm entering right now so that's my analysis for gold i'm seeing that we are pushing for buys for now okay so that's it don't want to put too much entries let's step away from the market and we're back again guys let's check out the analysis on us 30 
looks like it's been stagnant there guys not a lot of movement for us 30 as you can see hopefully it completes our analysis now let's check out gold okay looks like gold is starting to to be in profits guys this looks nice hmm so guys let me tell you something about entering more trades you are only allowed to enter more trades when you are in profit stack on your profits not on your losses that's how you win overall okay so that's what we have for now guys let's step away from the market we'll come back later so let's check the account guys this is what i close for today and looks like i'm in losses with gold let's check it out yo looks like i might be wrong with my gold analysis guys do understand we an overall resistance of the bearish trend so if it breaks my support i'm out for now let me check out us 30 and let me also check out nasdaq i was waiting for confirmation and looks like the nasdaq has finally confirmed our direction let me show you what i mean guys so as you can see right here guys this bearish uh, trend line i just removed that was my confirmation the market failed to cross below let me show you what i mean this is my bearish resistance guys my bearish trend line resistance and the market has finally broke above it gave me a retest and now which confirms to be my support is pushing back up so meaning that guys i am confirmed for buy setup the market has finally broke out out of our bearish resistant trend line of which is now our support structure guys we are now looking for buys on nasdaq guys remember i'm only risking because i've withdrawn my initial deposit three times okay guys let's step away from the market let's check out the analysis guys let's check out uh, nasdaq looks like the market is still playing around let me see correctly seems like we are from a support and currently at a resistance so the market needs to play around to build enough momentum to break this resistance of ours before giving us our clear buys now let's check out gold hey guys i won't lie gold doesn't look like a buy anymore but let's see let's see guys this is us 30 for us 30 let me enter more trades because it's been stuck there might be waiting for nasdaq because usually they correlate anyways that's all for me let me step away from the market and we back again guys oh we're in losses guys let's check out gold okay gold doesn't look like a sell anymore uh looks like it failed to break below the support so let me adjust my support zone looks like it hit my vertical support and my horizontal support so now i'm putting my support zone as a third confirmation of which i'm still seeing buy opportunities if the market actually broken below all of the supports then it would have been a sell so for now i'm still seeing a buy by my strategy do you understand guys we can be wrong however you must always follow your rules right now i'm seeing a retest on this support our horizontal support and our vertical support and this is our resistance of which we're trying to reach when we buy and complete our bullish trend okay now let's check out us 30 uh seems like us 30 is playing around i'm hoping it's the same thing for nasdaq let's check out us 100 which is nasdaq seems like also nasdaq is doing the same thing as you can see guys us 30 and nasdaq correlate a lot so i'm seeing a small bullish trend guys let me show you what i mean i'm seeing a small bullish trend for nasdaq and this would be our support structure and also this would be our resistance at the top right there of which is creating a small bullish trend towards the upside anyways this is all i have guys this is what i see let me step away from the market let's check out the account yo okay let's first start with nasdaq and see what's happening guys let me put this phone horizontally to see properly nasdaq still looks good for buys i can see that nothing is out of any structure so let's hope and let's check out us 30 looks like we're also still ready to go for buys because no stop loss hidden profits no stop loss hidden in general nothing but gold okay let's check out gold gold is also trying to look like a sell but still another buy setup the moment i'll exit gold is only if it breaks below three of my support areas right there that will be my confirmation of my setup being invalidated so i'll be out of the trade 
and i'll start looking at it again from the side for more opportunities remember guys losses are part of forex sometimes you can be wrong let me step away we back again guys damn oh check out that loss guys look at gold you see guys what i told you gold has invalidated my setup guys i am closing my entries guys one thing you should know when you're a trader guys is that you shouldn't force your ideas on the market if what you see on the market is no longer there then that means it's no longer there if the market gives you a setup and then the setup gets invalidated that means that setup is not right however from the start my setup has been a medium buy setup so the overall high probability setup was gonna be a sell however i was already seeing a buy setup being formed because i had a lot of confirmation of seeing a bullish trend so for now since the market basically broke outside it's no longer a buy let me show you what i mean by that guys let me show you the setup that i see for now however i still won't enter it because i can already see a clear setup for both nasdaq and us 30. so this is what i foresee for gold right now i'm seeing that gold is actually going to continue pushing towards the downside because we're at the overall resistance of the bearish downtrend gold will first going to push towards that support area there before any further movement okay guys remember guys never force your ideas always follow the market don't force the market for now let's step away from the account we'll come back later let's check out the account boom yes sir we back we killed guys wow gold was a wrong setup as you can see us 30 has already hit tp let's check out nasdaq first as you can see guys our bullish movement was confirmed the market has finally had enough momentum to break through our resistance and is now going for clear buys let's check out us 30 and looks like us 30 seems to be a complete setup again guys we even hit our tp the market is still going back up okay guys let me see how far you can go we back again guys as you can see closed most of the us 30 trades because we obviously completed the setup so why hold any longer so for now let me continue closing my us 30 because i have completed our bullish setup guys you must always remember guys when you're trading you must have a time to enter trades and exit trades this is my confirmation of where i want to exit my trade because from a support we are now at a resistance so there's no use to continue holding i just only hold nasdaq and wait for take profit hit and that's how much i've made today guys yes sir okay guys let's check the account and beautiful guys we are still in profits and about to hit take profit hit soon wow guys we've been having a beautiful winning streaks for this past few weeks guys wow okay so for now that's all i have let's be patient we back again guys let's check the account as you can see i closed everything both my nasdaq and us 30 reached my take profit hit and completed my bullish setup let's check the account guys okay while i was away i still saw a beautiful bullish nasdaq setup guys as you can see guys nasdaq is still having enough momentum to push and reach our overall resistance hence i'm entering more trades let me show you our account tour as you remember guys we are now at 400k this is the account progress so far we took some big loss that was my last withdrawal and then some few major losses my second withdrawal i forgot to show you and my first withdrawal as you remember guys i started this account with you on the 11th i've been growing it still slow and steady man let's move away from the account new day guys let's check the account looks like nasdaq is still pushing back up you do know that guys i like to usually scalp while also swinging some trades so that i keep on going the account okay paying ourselves guys let's check the account guys looks like we've been stagnant around the same place let me close a few more trades basically right now i'm waiting for sell opportunities because we are almost at a high okay step away we back again guys closed all the nasdaq trades and now i'm entering a reversal of us 30 as you can see right here guys we are having a bearish trend a double confirmation of a sell at our resistance points right there our horizontal resistance zone and a vertical one so let's step away from the market 
we back again guys as you can see also started entering nasdaq cells as well so finally nasdaq managed to reach the top let me remove this as you can see right here guys so nasdaq basically gave us a strong push towards the upside so now we're expecting a reversal towards the downside let me explain as you can see right here guys it build momentum reach the resistance and then now waiting for a strong push towards the downside to basically become a correction after an impulse move so that's what we have for nasdaq guys a beautiful sell setup now let's check out us 30 same thing seems to be happening for us 30 guys we are also at a sell for us 30 we have ourselves there a strong resistance zone and a double confirmation that the market can actually break outside and become a buy however if it's still inside this trend then we are still looking for sales towards the downside guys do understand i told you before nasdaq and us 30 are correlating pairs let's step away we back again guys okay looks like we have a small loss let's check out nasdaq still playing around i have my take profit i have no stop loss for my both entries you do know i scalp and swing and oh my withdrawal came through guys i made it last night remember guys when you make a withdrawal make sure you have no trades running and the withdrawal can take up to 24 hours if you're making it at night than during the day we back again guys slow and steady wins the war Looks like Nasdaq is starting to go into profits and USDT is already a step ahead. As you can see, let's step away from the market. Patience. We back again, guys. Nasdaq dropped, guys. Looked like it hit my take profit on my scalp trade. Let's check out USDT. Still on its way. Just retraced back. So let's check the account history. As you can see, let's step away. We back again guys looks like nasdaq hit my stop loss for sell because we are now retracing back for buys i'm going to scalp this buys we back again guys as you can see we are now starting to go into profits so what happened was guys i closed myself in less profits because the market hit that support level there and started reversing back up and actually had left one sell to see if it's gonna continue however hit my stop loss for now we have a small bullish setup waiting to have basically a double top there the market actually reversed there and still continue to push towards the downside so let's check out us 30 us 30 has completely changed the setup guys it broke outside the trend and now it's going back up to retest on its bullish trend okay so that's all we have for now okay guys let's check the account boom yes sir looks like nasdaq killed guys what a strong beautiful buy i closed all my us 30 it's only nasdaq we back guys as you can see close some of my trades i'm actually driving today guys so i can't really trade and show you we'll update you tomorrow we back again guys it's a new day not as busy as i was yesterday so let's check out the analysis guys let me put it into a horizontal view so as you can see right there guys we have ourselves a double top like we anticipated what do we know when we see this guys we know that a clear sell is coming let me show you something guys i'm seeing that we have a, a small bullish trend here this bullish trend is usually made to break above a resistance or actually reverse so if it fails to break above as a momentum to push then we know we have a clear sell towards the downside if it breaks below our support of this bullish trend then we have a clear sell towards the downside guys that's what we have for now there guys simple and easy a step away we're back again guys what what happened let me check yo guys a market weekly gap guys as you can see guys sometimes when you have weekly gaps they can damage or throw away your setups guys we had a beautiful sell setup and the market decided to open above the resistance guys so let me limit the risk now guys let me cut at least two trades and leave two running to survive the pushback up before we have a sell towards the downside so let's step away we back again guys as you can see losses are part of forex let me show you the setup now i think nasdaq has finally reached the high of this bullish trend okay let me put this phone in horizontal view as you can see right here guys we are expecting a push towards the downside let me show you our overall resistance in this bullish trend as you can see right there guys the market has been failing to cross that line about there let me use a line chart to show you easily guys i want to show you these lines properly as you see 
even broke outside our bullish small trend so we're now expecting a sell towards the downside let me show you the overall chart of nasdaq nasdaq has been trapped inside this bullish trend guys so every time we reach the high of this bullish trend we're now expecting a sell towards the downside and now we even have a confirmation because it broke outside our small bullish trends towards the upside so we are in for clear sales already in profits let's kill Okay guys, let's check the account. Damn. We are in deep losses guys. What happened? Let's check out the analysis. Looks like we are not at the top as of yet guys. It looks like we actually at a support of our bullish trend. Let me show you what I mean guys. Let me dive even deeper. It looks like we actually at a support zone down here. Let me put it guys to illustrate what I mean. This seems to be our our strong support zone and we're now at the top we can see by our reversal candlestick which is a doji guys a doji confirms a reversal of a pattern guys we are now clear for sales guys i'm seeing a high beautiful setup we are now at the top of the channel and i'm seeing a reversal candlestick guys i'm going in guys this is a sell setup a high probability trade guys so let me enter a few more trades to offset the ones at the bottom do understand guys i'm allowed to risk like this only risk with the money you can afford to lose we're back again guys let's check out the account okay looks like some of the trades are in profits definitely the ones after the doji candlestick okay so let's check out the analysis guys let's dive even deeper and see the market clearly as you can see right here guys we're actually at the top of the resistance and we're now seeing a push towards the downside okay so right now guys the market is still playing around i was expecting a big move hopefully it's coming today i do see that i'm still in the bullish trend meaning the market can reach the support and still go back up guys however i'm still waiting for overall sell guys i know the sell is coming we are at the top of the channel nonetheless anyways that's all for us for now let's step away from the market we'll come back later let's check the account guys okay i can see tp hit let's see what happened oh we in losses again what happened guys so basically the market has been playing around at that point right there i can already see we have two now two strong weeks towards the downside guys yo 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 the market has been playing with us for the longest today guys however i can still see myself set up so guys right now is basically a win or lose situation guys i've already withdrawn four times from this account another one another one another one and another one I can afford to risk with this amount i'm seeing a sell setup and i want to go all in the market is still consolidating a bit however i'm still seeing that we are still below the resistance which confirms our sales so let me enter more sales guys it's go big or go home so it's win or lose it's win or lose guys i have a sell setup i'm going all in that's all i have for now let me step away from the market guys we'll come back later and see how everything played out okay guys let's check the account boom yes sir <laughs> look at that guys wow let's check out the analysis you 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 guys look at that drop guys what did i tell you guys a high probability sell trade guys we've been waiting for it guys The market has made us wait and we waited guys patience plays a big role guys we killed look at those numbers guys i'm speechless okay guys i'm ending the account here guys i appreciate it guys if it's got your mentor signing out yes sir